And time now for our community update this morning. Joining us in studio is Green Bay Mayor Eric Genrich. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, first explain shared revenue. Yeah, well, we don't want to put your viewers back to bed. Yes. But, um, <laughs> you know, shared revenue is a program that exists. It's a partnership between local government and state government. It's existed for over 100 years. And the idea is, you know, there's a lot of revenue that's raised locally with sales tax and with mm -hmm. income tax. That goes down to Madison, and it's only fair that that should actually return to these local communities, um, and that's in the form of this program known as Shared Revenue. Now, lawmakers and Governor Evers came to a bipartisan agreement last week on Shared Revenue. What was decided, and how does it benefit communities? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of details to the agreement, but um, the, the most important aspect of things for people in the, in the city of Green Bay and maybe surrounding communities, the city receives about $15 million back mm -hmm. in the form of Shared Revenue every year to assist with our, you know, our public safety needs and other programmatic needs at the local level. That number is actually going to increase by 20%, so roughly $3 million increase, and then that's going to be, um, that'll be sort of um, attached to growth in, in sales tax revenue moving forward. Um, so we're really, you know, pleased that the governor and legislative leadership have come together on a, on a bipartisan agreement that, um, that's going to improve things for us here locally. Now, kids are out of school, of course. Now, the city pools are now open. You were able to find enough lifeguards to open them all. Was that tough? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a, you know, a credit both to um, our Common Council, who decided to, to increase uh, the wages that are paid to our lifeguards here in the community, as well as um, staff in our, our Parks Department who have spent an incredible amount of time recruiting um, because, as you know, especially in, in youth employment, it's really challenging. Um, to find folks who are interested in, in working in these, uh, especially in these seasonal positions. Mm -hmm. But as it stands right now, we're going to be able to, to open um, all of our pools. Um, you know, ours are a little bit, um, you know, less standard than is typical. So I would just encourage people to take a look at the hours on the city's website before visiting. But we're really excited to be able to open all of our pools this year. So you're still hiring? We okay. are. Yep, we're still right. hiring. So, you know, uh, always looking for additional Good. folks. Uh, can always hop on the website and, and take a look at those uh, job offerings. Now, Kids Day is coming up on June 26. Tell us about it. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of details, again, on the website, so I would encourage people to, to visit there for all of the details. Uh, but we're doing the, the Kid Mayor for a day uh, again. We did that last year for the first time, and so encouraging kids to, to hop on the website and apply. Um, we're going to be taking names until June 20th, um, so will be able to you know, do a proclamation with me and um, attend a, a press conference, maybe offer some remarks. And then for everybody else, you know, there's, there's a lot going on um, at Bay Beach at Joanne's Park. Um, at Bay Beach, we're doing some, um, some skills, uh, mountain bike skills park mm -hmm. um, stuff over there. And then over at Joanne's, I think we're going to be doing some um, skateboarding and instruction. And uh, there's going to be a, a baseball clinic that's happening at the, at the ball field there. And Bay Beach, uh, some free, free rides throughout the day. So just a ton going on. Encourage people to hop on the website and check yes, it out. Yes, because you do need a wristband for that. But everything is free. Now, tell us about the Habitat for Humanity project going on. It's one of the largest ones yet, isn't it? Yeah, really. It's a great partnership between the City of Green Bay and Habitat, which has been in place for many years. But this is really the biggest offering that we've ever uh, participated in. So, you know, oftentimes it's a, you know, it's a house here or there that's being constructed within the city's neighborhoods. Um, this is really the first neighborhood that's being constructed by Habitat. So it's going to be 14 homes, uh, a number of freestanding ones. There's going to be some townhomes as well. And then a couple of designs really targeted towards um, families with, with folks with disabilities. Um, so again, it's it really the first of its kind uh, and of this scale. Um, and uh, it's going to be over on the southeast side of town. Uh, a great announcement both for Habitat and for the community. And as we all understand, a lot of housing needs uh, within Green Bay and, and across the state and nation. Um, so this is a great way for us to tackle it. So it was really needed here, affordable housing? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, housing at all income levels is, is really needed. Um, but for low and moderate income folks in particular, um, there's a, a, an exaggerated need. And, and so this is really going to fill that gap, I think. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. We appreciate it, Mayor. Absolutely.